in this question we are given that x and y are two vectors in three dimensional space and this notation denotes their dot product then the determinant of this matrix which consists of dot product of x with x dot product of x and y dot product of y and x and dot product of y with y so here dot product of x with x will be magnitude of x squared dot product of x with y or dot product of y with x they both will be equal and they will be magnitude of x into magnitude of y into cosine of angle between them and dot product of y with y will be magnitude of y squared so determinant of this matrix will be and this can be written as magnitude of x squared magnitude of y squared minus magnitude of x magnitude of y cos theta magnitude of x magnitude of y cos theta that is equals to magnitude of x squared magnitude of y squared can be taken common 1 minus cos squared theta now when the vectors x and y are linearly independent then i cannot write x or y is linear combination of other so x cannot be equals to lambda y so in this case the vectors x and y cannot be parallel or anti parallel and in this case the angle between them will be strictly between 0 and pi and that implies that cos theta will lie strictly between minus 1 and 1 and that implies that cos squared theta will be strictly less than 1 so the determinant that is equals to magnitude of x squared magnitude of y squared into 1 minus cos squared theta will be strictly greater than 0 when cos squared theta is strictly less than 1 and that is the case when vectors are linearly independent so our determinant will be positive when x and y are linearly independent so our option b is correct now why c and d are incorrect here we see that when our vectors x and y are linearly dependent then i can write x is lambda y this implies that the angle between x and y will be either 0 or pi because the vectors will be either parallel or anti parallel and in that case cos squared theta will be 1 and that will imply the determinant of the matrix is 0 so we can have determinant equals to 0 for non zero x and y also when they are linearly dependent so c is false and x or y do not have to be zero for the determinant to be zero so d is also false